Hi YouTube! Today, instead of a normal vlog, I will be doing a tag video because I was tagged for the first time on YouTube. I was tagged by Kaden to do the Raising My Child tag. question of the tag is what types of play or learning activities does your child love at home and I mean learning activities we don't do a lot of things that I guess could be uh, that be, could be called that because he's pretty small and I mean everything we do is something that he learns from he loves painting and drawing and that kind of thing he also enjoys playing with Legos a lot and that's very good too for you know spatial understanding and, and all that kind of stuff and I mean when it comes to just playing he loves taking baths and watching TV unfortunately I guess he loves that he loves reading books but he doesn't really read them he just likes carrying them, them around and looking a bit in them um, so yeah that's that's what he loves right now at least the second question is, what time do you put your kids to bed and get them up? Does it have to do with the time the sun rises or sets in your area? And first off, no, it doesn't have to do with the sun at all because right now at least the sun sets very early and we couldn't put Tyrion to bed at 3, so <laughs> no. Uh, right now Tyrion goes to bed around 7, half past 7 sometimes if he has had a long nap during the day. And that works for us, but he wakes up at very different times and he always has. He doesn't have like an internal clock that wakes him up at a specific time. Sometimes he wakes up at 5, sometimes he wakes up at 8. It differs a lot, it varies. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the times we have right now at least. And the third question is, did you have your child in a private or public hospital and were you happy with the service? And we had Tyrion in a public hospital, we don't have any choice here, I don't think we have private hospitals that can deliver kids, um, or babies, I mean, I don't think, but I don't really know a lot about that kind of stuff. We just, uh, we wanted the closest, biggest hospital, so that's where we had him, and we were very happy with the service and everything around the birth and having to go to the, the what's it called, NICU and all that stuff. Yeah, it was a very good experience under the circumstances. Question four is, what are mom groups or play groups like in your area? And we don't really have, well, the healthcare facility started a, a mom group for us when we were, had just delivered and all moms in this area get to do that. They kind of bunch us all together who have had kids at a, kind of the same time and then they have four or five uh, meetings once per month so that you can just talk about your experience and stuff and we uh, started hanging out a lot outside of those meetings so um, four let's see, three of the moms that I was with in the group from the beginning uh, I still talk to a lot and hang out with, so, so that's very nice. Other than that we don't really have any mom groups here. I'm sure there are like Facebook mom groups and uh, play groups like that but none that I know of or, or participate in, but that would be fun. Um, Tyrion does go to preschool so he gets to see a lot of kids anyway, but it would be fun to do something like that. And then we have question five. The question is, is the cost of living a factor in how many kids you and your partner want to have? Um, I guess it would be eventually, but we do have problems with uh, fertility. We have infertility problems. And uh, I'm just hoping that we can have two, maybe, possibly in the future. I just had a miscarriage, so right now we're just kind of on square one, back to square one. and and. I'm just hoping that we can have two and we can afford that. It's very inexpensive to have kids here. You know, healthcare and all that stuff is, is paid for you in Sweden. So we don't, but I guess if we had like three or four kids and we wanted more then maybe, yeah, that would be a factor. Um, but not at this time at least. Question six is what are council parks or play areas like where you live? And I'm guessing that that's playgrounds and stuff like that. We don't have a lot around here, not not any big ones. We just have small play, playgrounds and I think they take care of them pretty well. They're safe and they're fun, but they're not the most exciting, you know. In, in the city, in Stockholm, we have or they have, I guess, a lot more big parks and they put a lot more money into them and it's just, um, I guess, uh, 
yeah more money that's basically what it comes down to um so around here not so much but they're they're fun and they're safe and and the kids love them anyway so it's it's not a big deal and question seven is is it easy to find childcare or babysitting in your area and childcare yes in sweden we have a law that says that any child above well between ages one and six or one and five has to be provided with childcare and that's just the law so uh, you can't go without if the the area where you're in if the uh, government doesn't have an, enough spaces for kids they have to start new preschools that's just the way it is so that's very easy and um, when it comes to babysitting um, there are nannies and stuff um, it's too expensive for us so no in our case but it's not difficult to get at if you have the money um, for us Specifically, we don't have a lot of babysitters in our family, so we, we don't uh, go do stuff with Aptarium very often, just every now and then when we get the chance. Question 8 is, what is the average cost of childcare prior to school age? And that's what I was just talking about. It is um, provided for you, but it's not for free, but it's almost for free. Uh, I just read up on it because I don't know it by heart, but apparently you pay 3% of your income to the childcare facility thing um, and uh, they, they also have this uh, roof I guess so you will never pay above I think it's about $150 that's what I looked up on Google at least so that's the most you will pay per month um, and if you you have a lower income then you will pay less than that so that's very good especially for us who only have one income Question nine is, will you send your child to public or private school and why? And for me, I don't really care. <laughs> we have both around here. Private schools and private preschools are getting more and more common, but there isn't a big difference between them as far as I know. They have pretty much the same, uh, they, they have the exact same curriculum and uh, I guess it's all about the money and I really don't know. I'm, I'm, going to look into it more when Tyrion gets closer to that age. He's not even two yet, so it's not the time. But we will see. I don't know. We'll see. And the final question, question 10 is, what's the best part about being a mom in the area you live in? And um, I guess the best part is that we're kind of in between the countryside and the city. We have about 30 minutes by train into the middle of Stockholm, which is the biggest city in Sweden. And I grew up in the city, so I love being close to it. And, you know, you can find anything there. You can find any, you know, movie theater or park or adventure playground or um, theater anything you can find anything there pretty much so i like that but also that we kind of live a little bit closer to the country and we have a lot of um wildlife and nature and all that stuff near us we have a lake very close and we have like woods and horses and all that kind of stuff so i think that's the best part of living right here is that we're in kind of in between and in the future i'm hoping that we can move to more of the countryside i would like a house and i would like um sheep and chickens and that kind of stuff so we'll see but right now it's it's kind of a perfect match thank you to kaylin for tagging me i'm going to tag missy lanning uh, I'm sure she's not going to see this video, but I would like to try because she's kind of my YouTube um, model or, or you know, goddess. <laughs> so yes, I'm tagging Missy Lanning and please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our daily vlogs and we will see you tomorrow. Bye!